Hi there. My package has arrived and I'm super excited. Look at this one. It's a makeup set from Filipinta Makeup, another makeup brand straight from the Philippines. I've been waiting to try it since it was released and right now I'm super duper excited. This nice eco-friendly bag has three pieces in it. It's a colorful and fun earthy colors set for your lips and your eyes. The two lip glosses are nude shades Maria Cacao and Maria Makiling. Duata means fairy in Filipino. The eyeshadow palette case is quite tight, which is great because it keeps everything safe inside. But I don't want to destroy it because it's so sparkly and pretty. So this is how it looks like. Now look at the even more amazing stuff inside. Nine super pigmented earth colors. I'm actually happy crying inside, but you just can't see it. So I thought of doing something really cool with this. I'll be doing fairy Halloween makeup. So before I started recording this video, I've already applied toner on my skin and I'm now letting it dry. I haven't applied any serum or moisturizer yet because I'm going to use this. A glue stick. Yep. I'm gonna use a glue stick. It's something I've learned from watching RuPaul's Drag Race a little bit too much. You guess it's right, I'm gonna make my eyebrows disappear. Kind of. Since I don't have a spoolie brush, I'm just using this plastic comb to make sure it's all even and no tangles will be seen. Patting on some powder after it dries. Getting rid of excess powder. And color correcting with a bright orange shade called Devata. Look how pigmented that is. It's crazy. and then putting on some cream concealer on top of it. Look at how it's mixing with the concealer. It's so pigmented that I look like I actually have an orange colored concealer. Wow. Full confession, I've never done this before. I've never covered my brows or ever had the need to. It's all been theoretical makeup knowledge when it comes to covering brows and doing special effects makeup for me. Because that's not really my expertise. Or not yet. Because I haven't really done it before. This palette just did it for me. It made me want to explore and try stuff. Create something. Do something. It inspired me to try something new. And I think that counts for something. So seeing myself having no brows at all made me feel quite uncomfortable. So I'll be putting this glowy makeup serum on the rest of my face, avoiding the eyebrows or whatever's left of them. It's supposed to make the skin look great even after putting a lot of product on it. I skipped the part where I was angrily applying foundation all over my face. I used a Maybelline foundation that I've used before together with this one for both coverage and contour. I let it dry and put powder on top of it before I recolor my whole face. I got this gold colored liquid eyeliner from Rimmel and I think this is the best time to use it. I've never been a fan of liquid eyeliners because some of them smell too strong. Like you just know that the product isn't that good or safe for your eyes. Which would sometimes make me tear up a bit, but this one is okay. The smell doesn't stain. Like I said, I just couldn't stand seeing myself with no brows, so I had to put new ones on. Gold ones.
To make it more magical, I use the Encanto shade to add more color to my brows and Anito for shading and body. After prepping the lips with my Burst Beast lip balm, I use the metallic and coppery Maria Cacao lip gloss. It smells and feels nice. And it looks nice too. You know the gold stuff you see on cake sometimes? I got some of that too. I got two packets of them. Because I knew I was going to go crazy with them for this video. I made sure my freckles were covered. Because I'm going to make my own fairy freckles. More pigmented orange for the eyes. Kind of black swan makeup, but orange. Relining with the gold His orange got too strong Unexpectedly I'm literally having too much fun with the orange Blushing like I've never blushed before, as if I needed any more color. Mixing a bit of orange, so it goes well with the eye makeup. A tiny bit of bronzer everywhere to add body to the color. Of course it wasn't done. My face makeup reminds me of the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland, Johnny Depp. More color, Akasha Green. At this point, I wasn't quite sure if I was doing a Duata or a Sari Manok. Links will be down in the description if you don't know what a Sari Manok is.
definitely time for fake lashes. More internal screaming silently happening right now. I haven't used fake lashes in a long time, so that explains the struggle of applying them. But no worries, I'll be making another separate video for just applying fake eyelashes and how to do them correctly. I was just too excited to get the makeup done and see the actual final result. So I'm sorry if I had to cut the lashes application quite short. The makeup does look more complete with fake lashes on. My natural lashes aren't very long. So whenever I go to events, I usually have fake lashes on or I just have extensions. Now time for some highlight. Maybelline's Chrome palette is really awesome. I've used it before in the Philippines. And many of my past clients and friends have gotten them as well after I've used it on them and a few recommendations. So for the fairy fantasy freckles, I'm using Lambana, the bluish green glitter eyeshadow. More gold leaf for everywhere else. I was trying to make a crown happen, but since my forehead is quite big, I just decided to you know, make it a skin decoration or whatever. Looks cool anyway. Urban Decay Sign Spray to keep everything in place. So there you go, that's my fairy Halloween makeup inspired by Filipinta makeup set made from the Philippines. I'm also wearing earrings from Betazzled, another Philippine brand, link is included below. And the crown thing I'm wearing on top of my head is actually a necklace from that earring set. Metazzled accessories are all handmade, so if you want to check them out, just click on the link below. This is the shiniest and sparkliest I've ever been. See ya.